and you tell them one thing. Just win, baby. going on Raider Nation it's your boy Small Raider back at it again with another video now yesterday was a huge huge day amongst the Raider Nation man after going scoreless last week and everybody in a bunch you know everybody was pissed off last week including me and to go from that to a short week on Thursday Night Football and going up against an AFC West rival in the San Diego I mean LA Chargers we get the biggest win in Raiders history what a win, what a win, what a win, man. We beat the San Diego. I keep saying San Diego. <laughs> uh, fuck it, they might as well be San Diego. But we beat the LA Chargers here at home in Allegiant Stadium. We got their ass back for the earlier in the season. But we got their ass back 63 to 21. But tsh, this could have easily been 63 to 0. But man, what a game. What a game. I was actually at the game yesterday at Allegiant Stadium. And I'm going to tell you this. Uh, it does help that there's only 12 Charger fans out there in the world. But to be at the tailgate and go in the stadium, we we had home field advantage, man. There was not a lot of Charger fans out there. Uh, the tailgate, of course, Raider Nation was out, out there doing a thing, having a good time. But the biggest thing was going into the game, how was this team going to look? Not a lot of optimistic Raider fans in the, in the tailgate, obviously, because we didn't score anything last week against a Vikings team that we could have easily beat. And I talked about that last week. And there was even questions about maybe Jimmy G coming in and, and taking over. I was on that train. I was one of those guys. Whether or not you like it, that's just how I feel, and that's my opinion. But, you know, AOC having his worst game yet last week, going into this week, facing the Chargers, a uh, lot of questions, man. AP was even getting slammed with questions, and there was people questioning whether or not AP was going to be the coach moving forward. Should he be the coach moving forward? Uh, and I did feel like this was his job to lose, and man... For them to go out and play the way they did, man, the game started and we was up 21 to zero like that. I mean, I, I felt like the, the Chargers needed every single infinity stone if they wanted to come back in this game. But before halftime, I believe it was like 30 something. Let me, let, me, let me look at the score real quick. A few minutes later, bruh, by halftime, the Raiders were up 42 to zero. Where was the same energy last week when we needed one point, when we needed a field goal or a touchdown, man? That's that's the thing that's kind of crazy to me. It's like this team wasn't able to score nada, nothing. The offense couldn't get anything going. And the Vikings do have a pretty solid defense, but they're not that crazy. I just feel like a lot of things were just going wrong for us last week. But 42 to 0 at halftime, man. We came out of this game swinging, man. And we beat the record. The previous record was, I believe, 59 points. I was keeping track of it the whole time. I still remember it like it was yesterday, man, that Denver Broncos game that we had uh, back in Oakland when we beat them 59-7, to seven, I believe. So I, I could possibly be wrong. But that was one of the best games that uh, we've experienced in the past couple of years. But this game in general, man, the fact that I was there, the fact that we were in Las Vegas, the fact that the Raider Nation showed out because it was 90% Raider fans, obviously, because we're playing the Chargers. Uh, but to, to hear the fans go crazy throughout the game, to see that energy on the field, man, AP was not fucking around coming into this game. He knew that there was a lot of critics coming into this game. AOC even knew that there was a lot of crit critics coming into this game. And I got to give his flowers. I got to give my flowers to AOC. Had a good, had a great game, man. A flawless game. Uh, I got to give props to AP for bringing these guys together and staying behind his own word his own decisions and whatnot by keeping aoc in there uh you guys got to give a lot of credit a lot of people been going at bo hardigree a lot of people wanting bo hardigree to be fired but to see bo hardigree go out there and call a game like he did in this game to make history raiders history we scored 63 points and we could have easily scored 70 I, I honestly i wanted the raiders to go out there and score 70 some I, I wanted them to go after the record the record was 72 points and we could have easily done that and I, I, if I had to nitpick, if I had to give AP, if, if I had to uh, give any kind of cons to this game, any kind of, you know, anything to pick out of this game that I feel like AP could have done better is by not letting his foot off the gas, you know, you know, they kind of got a little bit conservative at the end. Why not just keep running up the score? Fuck it. Run up the score, man. In high school, he was. They, they poly scored 99 points in one game. Why not go out there and say, fuck it, let's go for 80. Let, let, let's beat the record. Let's go past uh, 72, man. And uh, at the end, I know they didn't really care, but, you know, we got the, the, the Raiders record, but I really wanted that NFL record. How nice would that have been to come out? How do you go zero points to go into the franchise rec? You go zero points to a franchise record score in Raiders history. 
and we could have easily done NFL history. Who knows if we could do this again, man? We got the Chiefs coming up on Christmas Day, like I said before, and many times before, man. I want to have a great Christmas. So, how great would it be if this team could keep that same energy and we go out there and score 70 points on the Chiefs, man? My goodness. Now, I'm not going to say this is going to be every single week. I don't think that we're going to do it all the time, but it was great to finally see that. And, and you know what? I've been I've been pretty good, man. I, I missed the last three home games. That's why I feel like we fell off a little bit, you know. But every single time I've been in the Winfield Club, man, I've been undefeated. So far, your boy is four. And oh, baby, you got to keep that streak going. I don't think I'm going to be there for the Denver Broncos game. But hopefully this team can turn things around, man. Uh, I know that there's a lot of fans out there saying that we should tank, go out, and get a top quarterback. Fuck that. I will never root for the Raiders to lose ever. I don't care who the quarterback is. I don't care who the head coach is. I don't care if your mama playing on the team. I do not want to lose, man. If anything, we could always trade assets away to, to move up. Fuck it. Trade five first-round picks if you really want to move up. I mean, I don't want to do that. I'm just being hypothetical right now but the Raiders are firing on all cylinders man what a way to go out there and show out in front of the whole world man prime time man you know Thursday night football has been boring for the past couple of weeks but the Raiders put on a show offensively defensively man to be in the stadium to finally be back home after missing the past couple of games man it was great man the vibes were there of course man just the energy and just to see we scored so many times I like, every time I was looking down, we had a big play. Going into this game, we didn't have no Josh Jacobs. Obviously, we didn't have no Andre James in this game. We don't have Colton Miller. So, we're missing pieces out there. So, a lot of people, I didn't think the Raiders were going to score that many points. I didn't think the Raiders could come out here and go crazy. Maybe we had a chance to win, but... Yeah, I mean, coming out the gate, Zamir White was going to be out there. Amir Abdullah got some play. Brandon Bolden got some play. Hey, the running game looked pretty good out there without no Josh Jacobs. Now, I'm not saying that we don't need Josh Jacobs, but they look pretty good out there. I ain't going to lie, but Zamir White kicked it off with a one-yard touchdown. Aiden O'Connell found Trey Tucker for a 30-yard touchdown. Man, that was a huge play. That He got him bobbled the ball around, but he kept it inbounds uh, and got the and got his due. Jacoby Myers, man, got a, a touchdown as well. A huge one, man. Jacoby Myers, man, shout out to Jacoby, man. He's been killing it. And that was all in the first quarter. The Raiders went up 21-0 to zero in the first quarter. Who is this team? And why couldn't we see them last week? Michael Mayer got a huge 11-yard touchdown, man. Uh, I think we got a turnover, and he was able to get a touchdown. And he got a touchdown right where I was at in the Winfield Club. If you guys go on my Instagram, at someone Raider, man, you guys will see all the clips that I had, uh, the reels that I did. I was actually with All In Auto Win. If you guys are not following my dude, Brian, go and follow him, man. We had a, a great time. And speaking of Brandon Bolden in the run game, man, we had a Wildcat play. Brandon Bolden had a 26-yard run. I didn't even think old boy was going to take it to the house, but he did. He did, and I was hyped up. And then we get a, a Trey Tucker 20-yard pass to end the half, 42 to 0. 42 to 0. Who is this team? I don't know. Coming out of the gates, man, Devontae Adams gets a touchdown pass, finally gets on the board. Jacoby Myers actually threw the ball to him. It was a, it was a beautifully drawn play. Like I said, put some respect on Bo Hardigree's name. I know I'm all excited right now, but maybe next week going to be a different story, but I ain't going to get to that right now. Obviously, like I said, Devontae Adams got his uh, pass from Jacoby Myers for a touchdown. Uh, the, the Chargers got a, a touchdown, a huge touchdown. You know, the defense was just chilling. I mean... Uh, John Jenkins, big dog on the defensive side of the ball, man. He got a 44-yard fumble recovery to the house. At the time, I thought they were gonna call the, the the ball dead, but old boy picked it up and they ran to the to the to, to the end zone. And I was like, y'all, I mean, when is it gonna stop? <laughs> you know? Uh, and, and man, shout out to Jack Jones, this dude. This dude is a dog. I think we made the right decision playing this dude, picking this dude up, man. Thank you, Patriots. You guys did something for us at least. Uh, Jack Jones came in. Uh, obviously, we let go of Marcus Peters, but Jack Jones made a huge interception, a one-handed grab to the bro. Like I said, I couldn't really, I couldn't really chill throughout this game until the, like the last couple minutes in the fourth quarter. But I was just chilling, talking, and then all of a sudden, I just seen the corner of my eye. This dude. Jack Jones cut the playoff and grabbed the ball to the house. The Raiders ended up winning this game, like I said, 63 to 21. We could have easily went more, but you know, AP and him let the let he let his foot off the gas pedal. But I'm not gonna fault him too much, man. Uh, I, I'm really excited with this team. I know it's one week. Does this change anything? I, does this change my thought or perception of AOC? 
No, it doesn't. I think AOC had a great game, but I still need to see a lot more for him to be considered the franchise guy, at least moving forward. I think AOC is a solid quarterback. He's going to have those great games, and he's going to have those bad games. Uh, I think he's a good contributor off the bench, honestly, if we're moving forward. Uh, we'll see for the next couple of weeks. The, like I said, this is a dress rehearsal for uh, AOC and uh, for uh, AP. These two are fighting for a job still. I mean, this looks great on the re on his resume right now. You see Mark Davis out there. He was excited throughout this game. That was the first time I see Mark Davis happy in the game for quite a long time. But, you know, I hope AP can still learn. I hope he can put things together. And I hope we can make a run. Whether or not we make it into the playoffs, if we win, if we win out, there's definitely going to be a discussion to be made, man. Definitely got a, uh, a discussion to be made, and I'm hoping for the best for this team. Last week, I was really bad. I was really down bad, man. I, I think a lot of the Raider Nation was down bad. We didn't know what to expect out of this team, like for the rest of the season after going out there and throwing up a stinker like we did last week. So, moving forward, I'm still gonna. I, I, I'm still not thinking that we're gonna be a playoff team, but anything can happen in in, in the NFL, man. Of course, uh, I, I had a lot of things to say about AOC last week, and I'm going to stand by most of that. But I do got to give AOC his flowers. He went out there, had a, had a great game, man. But with that being said, Raider Nation, how do you guys feel about this game? Do you guys agree or disagree with anything I had to say? Let me know down in the comments below. Feels good, man. Feels good. Victory Friday, baby. Uh, until the next one, this is your boy, Simone Raider, and your boys. Yeah.